as everybody knows, the state has had a rough couple of years. Um, the recovery here has not been nearly as good as the U.S. recovery, and the U.S. recovery hasn't been very good at all. Um, you know, we, we lost 8.7 million jobs nationally. We've got about 52, 53 percent of those jobs back so far. And if I remember correctly, that was the number one topic in the election. Both candidates agree we needed to have, both had needed to have a plan to try to improve job growth. Uh, in North Carolina, we lost 333,000 jobs. We haven't even got a third of them back. So we're doing a lot worse than, than the national uh, economy is doing in terms of producing jobs, and yet it's not a conversation here. We don't even, it flies under the radar. We have the fifth worst unemployment rate of any state in the nation, still. We've been, had that on and now for about a year, uh, being in the top five in terms of high, high unemployment rate. And uh, the economy here has been dismal. In 2012, uh, when everything is in, we think it's going to grow at less than a percent. And right now we're projecting about six tenths of a percent, uh, a little over 30,000 jobs. Um, so it's really been a weak, weak economy and weak economic growth and a really tough three years in terms of, of how this economy has behaved under the so-called recovery. Well, I think there are a number of reasons for it. Um, what's really interesting is that South Carolina, which historically has economy has not performed as well as North Carolina, isn't on the top 10 list of, of unemployment. Uh, they're doing much better than, than North Carolina is. Uh, to a great extent, they're doing well because they have really engaged during this recovery in economic development, and I think North Carolina has basically um, forgot about that. I think a second issue is that when you compare the two states' tax levels, tax rates, uh, we're about a percent higher both in sales and income tax than is South Carolina, and of course we have a corporate income tax which doesn't help any either. We have one of the highest state corporate income taxes in the nation. So when you put all those things together, um, you know, fiscally we're fine from a revenue standpoint, but I don't think we're nearly as an attractive state for economic growth and in, in, uh, incoming companies as we were, say, a decade or two decades ago, and I, I think that's part of the problem, um, and I think that we really need to address it. I, I think the biggest issue is that we don't seem to be addressing it. We seem to be behaving like, well, you know, our economy's not doing very well, but nobody's economy is doing very well. And that's really not the case. We're amongst the worst performing economies in the nation and have been for several years now. I think it will only be addressed if it becomes a top priority and becomes a conversation piece amongst business uh, in, the, in, in the state uh, and ask the question of the politicians, well, you know, why is this happening? We try to figure out what's different here and why we haven't performed as well, and then we take a look at how we solve those problems. But right now, we're not having the conversation. And so, you know, my message to everyone is, let's start to have a conversation about a, a weekly performing economy um, that's really out of character to where we've been for the last three or four decades.